Hi, Emilius here. Today I'm going to show you one of the most beautiful transition in PowerPoint. Let's check it out. So this is the template I created already and we can build it from the scratch. And today I'm going to show you step by step how you can do it. This PowerPoint is so attractive if you use it in a class as a student or a teacher or in your business you grab attention of your audience easily because yes it's so engaging so as you see you can use it you can customize it i will put the link uh, down below you can download it and uh, customize it so let's dive in and build it from scratch so far if you like what you see let me know file blank presentations and uh, select all this area and uh, let it and you have blank presentations so if you select this slide and you press shift enter one two three four four or five times we're gonna build try uh, try to build the four blank ones so let's select everyone every one of them and the let the text fill okay i have five blank slide here you can bring your image great this is my folder with the seven images okay i'm going to use some of them five of them drag it to one of those slides i have here five images i'm gonna pick one of them for each slide copy this one Control x go to the second slide Control v right and go back to where you paste orders cut Control x and the third one Control v you have that one as well and you still have two images in here Control x and then the fourth slide Control v and we have all the image in all the slides great so go back to the first slide in here we have this image what we're gonna do is copy it again Control C and in the background uh, picture or text fill and clipboard that's past this image as a background what we're gonna do with the, the other the top one so before we start working the top one we're gonna go each slide to do the same same process to the, all of them okay so i'm copying this one Control c and background format background picture and the texture fill and clipboard as they are ready and the third one i'm gonna do the same i'm gonna drag it from the corner to make the image uh, overlap or smaller and then do the same process copy it and the background format background picture and the text fill clipboard paste in the and the next one same thing we we'll drag the image from the corner to the other side and copy background format background picture and the extra fill clipboard and pass it last one and do the same process this image is the size is great so go picture text fill and the clipboard so we have all the images in the background and the top one so back to the first one i'm gonna do the same process or the next process next step now from next step this image i'm gonna go here select the picture format and i'm gonna go to crop it okay crop and aspect ratio one by one so i crop that and try to adjust it and and press enter press enter you have your image already but now we're gonna do the same now we need is a square one we need this image to be a circle so what we're gonna do again picture format and uh, in the crop instead go to the aspect ratio we're gonna go to crop to the shape so crop to the shape select the shape you would like to you can use a random or use any other shape is in here bunch of them so i'm gonna go for oval one okay as you can see the shape is already a uh, circle so i need this shape to be smaller what i'm gonna do is uh, change the diameter in here rather than yes 1.25 which is in inches so that's correspond a 3.18 centimeters okay so done that and make it smaller drag it to the corner and leave it there by now and do the same process to the old other image uh, or other slides as well i'm going to show you once again the same process 
select the top image picture format and crop uh, aspect ratio one by one and adjust the image as you would like to center it and yeah the, to the point you would like to see the best part of the image and then press enter mm -hmm. and again picture format is time not aspect ratio but crop to the shape pick your shape and then do that again the diameter i'm going to change it to 3.18 and enter drag it down to the bottom corner bottom right corner and leave it there by now yes and come back to the next image the third slide get it the same process now i'm going to speed it up Crop to the shape and done here 3.18 enter okay and drag it to the bottom corner bottom right corner and then there great i'm back and to the first image now from this point i'm gonna do i'm gonna insert a rectangle let's go insert shape rather than full rectangle go for this rounded corner so this rounded corner one draw it as you wish i will give you my dimensions if you want to use the same feel free okay and then use uh, grab it from the yellow spot and uh, make it fully rounded okay so in this point i will go for it's gonna be uh, 2.5 so okay what i'm gonna do now and uh, for this shape i will go for shape take away old outline i don't like to see it with outline and now i uh, go for the dimension and make it 2.5 in the bottom one 2.5 and uh, here make it 17 17.78 great cool so from now we have this spot in here okay the shape in here and what you're gonna do is copy ctrl c and uh, paste it five times ctrl v ctrl v till fifth one and drag it to the right spot leave it there by now and then select them all and now we're gonna go again shape format and this time align it uh, distribute horizontally okay align it align it to the middle and now they are in the same exactly the same spot same line bring it up if you are happy with this position leave it like that for me i like it with a small gap so now select all of them okay you have it selected now we're gonna do format shape okay press uh in this time we're gonna go slide background field fill it with the same image we have in background you cannot see anything now it seems like you can see your head is growing uh blurry you're gonna go for the 25 and the distance can be five now we have the image more or less visible so bring back now we still have this image what we're gonna do from this point we're gonna uh, draw a rectangle on top of this one and then send it back so i'm going to insert insert shape rectangle target okay from one corner to the bottom corner from the slide so this in this point we're gonna go for gradient fill gradient fill black so yes black color and the first one the right one keep it zero percent hundred percent transparent okay this side and then try to check type of gradient linear and then direction direction must be this one okay i'm happy with it and i'm gonna send this press on top of the, the shape this rectangle and send it back now you can see the difference in the shape okay so from this point we're gonna try we're gonna select and paste in all the other slides so having them all in the different slides i'm gonna go back first one so it's so important to this step now remember every single one of those shapes you can uh modify them to have yes its own yes to be individual uh, individual yes uh position 
and uh, dimension so i'm gonna modify them all and give k each one of them in different uh, way i'm happy with that if you are so go for it and use your own dimension and position in different way do it for all of them as well so each one is on so i'm gonna go in this pattern use the pattern you like one and remember you press control and while you're dragging it and it keep the same proportion i'm happy with this and move on for the next one as well do the same process so now So from this point, we're gonna use all the shape, cut all the shape and bring it to the first light. Control X in here and Control V. Okay, from this slide, just bring it, line it there. Great, great. So next slide, copy this top image, bring it to the first slide and uh, Control V. Drag it and use this proportion okay next slide copy control x first slide control v okay grab it and bring it okay this one picture format and it's gonna be 6.35 enter does increase this dimension i'm gonna bring this to the middle okay first i'm gonna create space for that okay drag this to the top 12 12 in this process i'm gonna go to the guide guideline to bring bring uh, the guide to the new center and this is gonna help us so yes if you press control you can drag the the guideline okay same gap yes it's give it to me and now snap this one here as well in the middle great and so i need one more copy of this just remember control and then bring the line select those two press image i uh, bring it out and you know already how it's gonna snap in here when it snap on the guide release it okay we have this one the first image uh, corresponding to this background and now select all of them all of these images and uh, copy to the next slide yes and uh, bring it and the next one do the same process and, and then here great so now we can copy them and go to the old slide and paste them there okay press them there and great and the last one here so back in the first one what are we gonna do now is try to okay we have this one and we're gonna go to the second one and change the proportion and this one as you can see if you go to the format you have 3.18 that's the dimension we're gonna reduce the this one right and go create 3.18 enter that's back and now we can snap in top the top and this one can go the second slide or this this slide correspond at this one we can bring it
okay and now this is what we need this one is the one we need okay increase it format and you know it already 6.35 to the same process to the, all the rest So as I said, I speed up this process and now I have all the text. I just copy it. You can do it like, for example, go here, insert text box and draw your text box like so, for example, here and write, for example, or I can go and format it properly as I want, like, like so, you can go here and increase the font size 14 and uh, drop yellow color for example okay but as i say this video is taking so long already so i'm i put all the tests to you uh, the next process is select one of the slide doesn't matter which one and then control a to select all of them go to the transition and select uh, Morphe transition okay so this is look stunning uh, before I finish if you find this video helpful please subscribe my channel ring the uh, bell you're not missing the next upcoming video so let's see the final result how is it look like presentation is gonna be like that okay Ta -da -da -da. so very engaging and congratulations you stay until the end and uh, from now on you know how to do a uh, slideshow very engaging like this so this one is the uh, it's so helpful you can do it as a student as a teacher and uh, remember you have the template uh, in the description below you can download it and use it for free so thank you so much see you in the next one